Hey everybody, it's Jeff, the Horror File 666. Uh, this is my birthday slash Christmas present uh, from Vance, also known as Spalding069. Um, yeah, he, he purchased this on uh, Amazon and like, you know, sometimes like if you buy stuff online, like you can order it and then have it sent instead to someone else, you know, so that's what he did. And, uh, you know, it took a little bit to get here because the seller was in California and he kind of you know, took some extra time uh, sending it, but I mean, that's no big deal. Uh, Vance and I were starting to get a little bit worried as to where it was, but just so happened that uh, the Christmas card from Vance and the uh, package from Vance uh, came at the same time, so that was really cool. Um, this is second take, so like, I don't even have the package here uh, that it came in. Um, it was just like a bubble mailer kind of thing, but uh, let me first get into the uh, Christmas card. Uh, it says Merry Christmas. Looks like it's finally Yule time again. You'll be stressed. You'll be broke. You'll get into petty fights with your family. You'll eat too much. You'll be wondering how long till it's over. Happy Harridays from your friends Vance and Yankus, uh, which is Roger, good old uh, Yankus S. Dixon. So uh, yeah, thanks so much, man. Um, you know, wish uh, Yankus a Merry Christmas for me as well. And here's uh, what Vance uh, picked up for me. This is uh, Visions of Hell, the films of Jim Van Bever. Um, it includes um, actually four discs. It's um, two two-disc editions. Uh, it's got the Manson Family and then the Manson Family bonus disc, uh, which has the documentary uh, also in the Belly of the Beast. Uh, this was from a Fantasia Festival in Montreal. Also an interview with Charles Manson. And then on the other one is uh, Deadbeat at Dawn. And then the bonus disc of that is the short films of Jim Van Bever, My Sweet Satan, Roadkill, The Last Days of John Martin, Doper, Kata, and Into the Black. Um, I know uh, Kata was um, like his student film, and that led into uh, what became Deadbeat at Dawn. But I have not seen Doper, Kata, or Into the Black, so that's going to be a definite treat for me. Uh, let me just slide them out here. Um, yeah, so they're in these clear cases, which is awesome. And, you know, like I said, both of these are special editions. So here's the Manson family. Um, you open them up, and it's got, you know, artwork in there and stuff with this, you know, uh, layout and the whole thing. And it just explains on the back, uh, Film Threat Magazine gave it five stars. Um, it says, The end of the 60s, free love, psychedelic drugs, and the most notorious murders in American history. Um, really, in, in my opinion, this is really the best film uh, in relation to, uh, you know, the Manson family. Um, Charles Manson and his, like, followers and stuff. And it's unrated right there. So... Yeah, I mean, even Roger Ebert, he said, uh, it's an undeniable power and effect. It exists in a category of one film, this film, exactly. I mean, I don't really agree with a lot of those people, but Robert, uh, Robert, Roger Ebert really knows his shit. So, uh, yeah, I mean, even Entertainment Weekly said great things about it. And then, second up, this, the two this special edition, Deadbeat at Dawn. Um, I have the Synapse or Synapse, however you say it, um, edition as well, and uh, that one's cool. Uh, that's the one, you know, that there was some complaints about uh, the transfer on that. I think one of the scenes was was shot, um, you know, at daytime, and it was supposed to be like a night scene, like like day for night or whatever, and when they were going in to edit it, like they didn't, you know fix that or something and I mean no one really would have even noticed but you know of course you know the director noticed and a lot of people that had things to do with the film and you know uh yeah so that's that and now uh, these are put out by Dark Sky Films uh he quit the gangs so they killed his girl and then you open this up and look at that artwork there um yeah um, if you hear some noise in the back it's uh, my refrigerator the like it's the stupid refrigerator uh... it's our second refrigerator like we have a main one and that's kind of like an ice chest and like there's this like fan thing 
and then when it gets any kind of ice on it, it always makes this weird noise. It doesn't have self defrost, but yeah, that's anyway. No one cares, but yeah. So this is uh, the second disc on there. Like I was saying, I also have. Uh, I think it's a UK import, and it's Roadkill and My Sweet Satan. Plus, there's a documentary on there and some trailers and things. Uh, eventually, I should probably uh, put all the uh, Jim Van Beber stuff that I have together and just do, you know, a video about that. Um, yeah, these are in widescreen, and it's just really, really good transfers. I heard uh, this transfer. Um, supposed to be better than the uh, Synapse or Synapse, whatever you like to call it, um, edition. So yeah, so there's that. And uh, awesome card and came in a red envelope and the whole thing. So yeah, thanks very much, Vance, man. I appreciate it. Uh, everything got here safe and, you know, I'm going to be checking the discs out pretty soon. Um, you know, sometimes you don't really get in too much of a horror mood around Christmas, uh, you know, because there's the uh, Christmas horror movies to watch. Uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night, uh, Christmas Evil, you know, things like that. Uh, that that episode of uh, Tales from the Crypt with uh, Larry Drake is that, like, evil Santa Claus guy. So, yeah, I'm going to be checking that stuff out, but I promise, you know, right after that I'll be watching these again. So, yeah, Spalding069, link in the description box below. Please check him out. Uh, he's an awesome person. I mean, like, that, I mean, he really is the definition of what a friend is. And, uh, you know, it just means a lot to me. And, uh, yeah, so that's it for now. Uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Um, what did I leave out? Happy Hanukkah. Whatever you celebrate or don't celebrate. And I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.